This year's budget debate has been held in the context of the EU referendum result. And the Chief Minister observed that these 14 difficult days for Gibraltar had tempered the debate somewhat. Nevertheless, he said he would have to reply to the incorrect and misleading statements by the GSD opposition riddled with rookie mistakes for the sake of the Hansard records. Mr. Picardo said the finances of this nation are now stronger than ever before, and anyone who analyzes them with a critical but non-partisan view will see that. He said when the GSD lost the 2011 election, Sir Peter Caruana revealed that we were close to hitting the ceiling of debt, and he would support raising the debt limits. He went on to say that the GSD's calls for prudence therefore now sound hollower than the inside of a drum. During the course of the three hours during which he exercised his right to reply, Mr. Picardo said Daniel Feetham had preached for three years that Gibraltar would be bankrupt. And by congratulating the government for its economic performance through gritted teeth, he had recognized he was wrong all this time. He compared this to the GSD's arguments that the GSLP liberals were going to blow up Gibraltar with its new LNG power station, an argument which seemed to have gone quiet after seven-tenths of the electorate had rejected it. Mr. Picardo defended the decision to mortgage Gibraltar's government's rental estates, reminding that the GSD's policy when in power was to sell them off at discounted prices, whilst retaining responsibility to maintain them for 12 years. He said it was a much better deal to retain the family silver and generate money for the community at the same time. He said Edwin Reyes's plea for more rental housing had to be understood in the context of a GSD who wanted to sell off all its rental housing stock. The chief minister said it was clear that the leader of the opposition had gone into the last election advocating austerity and had no intention of delivering manifesto commitments or funding community care. He took up the GSD's argument that surpluses didn't count because of monies owed by the government and said this would have eliminated every single budget in Gibraltar's history. He ripped into Roy Clinton's assertion that there would be hidden deficits, saying it was a denigration of the public servants who had compiled the statistics. Mr. Picardo then delved into pre-election controversy regarding what he described as unexplained power cuts during the time when Spark was running the temporary plant at the North Mole. He accused Spark, the company who had commissioned the report for the GSD on the LNG power plant, of having lied to him about that report and said the trust had broken down. He said there had been no more unexplained power cuts since Spark had been evicted from the site. Therefore, he said Mr. Clinton, whom he described as a 1970s colonial bookkeeper, had to be careful when he spoke about funding power and questioned whether he had even followed Mr. Picardo's budget when writing his own speech, given that he asked how the power station was going to be funded. Turning to the claims made by Trevor Hammond that Gibraltar has never recovered from the loss of the 342 parking spaces at Commonwealth Park, the Chief Minister said there were now 1,041 free spaces at the Midtown Car Park to replace them, 715 of them free for Gibraltar residents. He said Mr. Hammond was being paid by the public to get out his abacus and do his maths properly. And what he had described as a pharaonic monument to ugliness, i.e. the Midtown Project, was originally a lot higher when it was given away by the GSD to a consortium in secret without tender or expressions of interest. And in response to independent MP Marlene Hassan Naon, who had brought up concerns made by residents of the South District, Mr. Picardo said it was indeed the intention to construct lifts in that area. But things take longer because there are many buildings in Gibraltar which do not have three-phase electricity required to power lifts. Mr. Picardo rounded off his address by affirming that there is no better political team to lead Gibraltar into the next 24 to 36 months of post-Brexit uncertainty than the GSLP Liberals.